Hello. Shooting with the Nikkor 10 millimeter fisheye. <laughs> God, I'm ugly enough from three feet away, much less from two inches away in the fisheye. Anyway, welcome to sunny Fort Myers, Florida. Ta -da. This ugly yellow house over here is my neighbor's house. Which I have permission to be in his yard. It's just a painted a hideous color. And it's got puke green uh, shutters uh, painted on the front, so this is not my house. My house is actually over here. You see the white, the white house here in that backyard. That's actually mine, and the, got the mango tree in the backyard and the tangent. Anyway, that's not important. Um, well, the hurricane blew through. Um, the remnants of the hurricane uh, blew through all day yesterday, so it doesn't really rain this time of year. Right now, it's. Uh, Got up to the mid 80s today. Be back to 90 degrees in a few days. Um, anyway, I wanted to talk about net sum zero reviews. I haven't bought a photography magazine in probably 10 or 15 years. They're all worthless. The one thing that you and I hate about these photography magazines, if you hate them, which you should, is that you'll notice that the last half of the magazine and all scattered throughout are these big expensive ads. And what these uh, these uh, magazines do is they do net sum zero reviews. What is missing in the photography world as far as gear reviews is an actual review. And more importantly, a review written by somebody that has a broad spectrum of experience with that, uh, with that gear. But I can't stand net sum zero reviews. The same thing is actually heavily preached in academia. And uh, like when I read a lot of uh, scholarly books about uh, particular things, um, like subject matters of philosophy, I mean the same same thing applies to photography, applies to uh, to uh, to scholarly reviews and uh, books and articles written to avoid attacks and uh, reprisals against taking a stance on anything. Well, I think this sucks because A, B, C, X, Y, Z. You give a logical reasoning why something is good or bad or correct or incorrect or drawing any correct conclusions about anything is that uh, it leaves you uh, completely defensible because you never take a stand on anything and photography reviews are written the same way that all these books written by PhD and tenured professors and uh, people that are in academia they're absolutely worthless because you can glean no information from them when you read a book about any particular subject, no matter what it is, and most of the stuff that I read is philosophical and uh, on ontology and uh, ancient uh, metaphysics, uh, Greek and Indian, is that they say, well, this appears to be like this, and this seems to be have influences of A, B, C, X, Y, Z, and this is influenced by this, and this sort of thing seems to be like that. They take no stance on anything. They don't say that something is logical, or illogical, good or bad. And that is awesome, because if someone is attacking your book, they got nothing to attack because you don't take a stand on anything. And all photography reviews, gear especially, are written this way. They'll say, well, the lens has a really nice bokeh quality, and it's, they'll talk about all its positive attributes, and they'll give it, um, you know, a middle-of-the-road recommendation, or if they got a lot of heavy ads in the magazine, they'll give it a much better than good recommendation. But that's worthless. That doesn't help you at all. I mean, when's the last time you read a heavy negative review from any photography magazine saying this lens came out like the 24 to 140? It's the kit lens that comes with the uh, Nikon uh, D750, which I'm filming this on right now. The kit lens for the Nikon D750, it looks impressive because it's a rather fast lens, uh, the 24 to 140, uh, 24 to 120, excuse me. Um, it, it's it's just a crap lens, but you know. All these uh, these uh, magazines, they say, well, you know, it's a decent lens and it's got this good quality. It's a crap lens. It's just it sucks, which is odd for Nikon because most of the kit lenses are really good, but it's a crap lens. And this is a net sum zero review. It leaves them completely defensible against any attacks, pro or con, because they don't take any stance on anything. But you can't get any good information. It's like, well, this got a good review, yeah, but. It's from a magazine who has paid advertisements from this company, especially Sigma. Sigma is the worst example. I mean, they should be getting horrible reviews on most of their lenses, but they get these glowing reviews, and people are like, oh, well, this magazine says it's an awesome lens. Yeah, did you notice that about one-third of the magazine is Sigma advertisements? So, 
you really need to watch out for that. I mean, these magazines, they have a hand up their ass. They're paid for puppets with strings attached to their arms. I mean, they're completely useless as far as, uh, you know, useful information. So there needs to be a genuine Consumer Reports, and Consumer Reports isn't good anymore. They used to be good ages ago. A genuine Consumer Reports of a photography gear by people that aren't sponsored, but it doesn't exist. And those people that are doing it, if they mean to do it earnestly, they just don't have the breadth of experience. And uh, hopefully I and some others can actually bring that to, to play and uh, be helpful. I mean, I can say a lens sucks. Some people say, well, that doesn't help me much. I mean, why does it suck? Well, I've got X amount of experience. I know it sucks. And here are the reasons why. A, B, C, X, Y, Z. If you want a short answer, I'll give you a short answer. Say, well, how does this lens rate? How's a 55... 55 uh, millimeter to uh, 140 Nick or zoom or whatever uh, perform. I mean, I say it sucks. Okay, could you elaborate? And I'll elaborate, but usually I'll give a short answer. But you know, even if I say it sucks, it, it's you know it's a piece of crap. Or you know, I'd rather sandpaper my crotch than use that lens. I mean, while that's slightly humorous, I am being perfectly logical because I'm not going to give advice. I got a cat, a cat walking through my. Uh, my uh, garage port over there. Some strange kitty. Um, I wonder what that was over there. It's a cat. At least it's not a panther because there are panthers down here. Um, but yeah, anyway, I think you got my point. This video has gone long enough and welcome to sunny southern Florida. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.